welcome back to New Zealand. I'm back in New Zealand. Uh, I spent about two weeks in California. Did a whole bunch of stuff. Went to Disneyland. That was awesome. The whole new Star Wars land is amazing. Uh, totally unrelated to electric motorcycles. But you guys saw the lightning video. I got to ride lightning. I'm going to talk about that in this video. Uh, I also got to meet the CEO of Energica. Got to sit on all the the new Energicas, the uh, 21.5 kilowatt hour, like the Rebele. I'm pretty excited about those. It was kind of un unplanned. Um, I just heard the day before that they were doing an open house in Livermore, California, and it was really surreal because I showed up and then three guys, including the CEO, looked at me and they're like, hey, New Zero Land. <laughs> and my wife was like, just blown away that I was some kind of weird celebrity. You know, I could just show up at some bike meet and people somehow knew who I was. It was crazy. But yeah, in this video, so I'm riding to meet up with a Zero guy, actually, who messaged me on Facebook and said, hey, I'm in New Zealand, so let's, let's have some breakfast. So I am back on the Zero. And uh, man, it feels so good to be back on the Zero. But yeah, this video, in this video, uh, stay on topic. I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on the Lightning because there's quite a bit of controversy and that uh, that strike video I posted got like over 150 comments and uh, people are all over the place. The problem is that so many people are focusing on the company and not the bike, not what the company is creating. And the bike is the whole reason why I made the video. I'm not gonna speak for the company because I feel like even though I got a tour and I got to see all the stuff they're working on and you know, got to see all the, the machines they have and got to see a whole bunch of strikes being built and, you know, a whole bunch of sparks, the little, uh, the little Grom killer. Even though I got kind of an inside view into the lightning factory, I still feel like I don't know everything that goes on. So, you know, people have a lot of questions about production and how many bikes they've delivered and I don't really have an answer to that and I feel like that's not really important at least to me um, I feel like the bike was so good even if lightning as a company just crumbled and disappeared tomorrow I would still want a bike and I realized to a lot of you guys that's kind of ridiculous and I even said in the video that you know you have to take into consideration that when you buy a bike you're buying the company you, you know you're buying the servicing and stuff and in a pragmatic sense you should it's, you know, it's the most responsible thing to do when you're buying a new vehicle and you're spending that much money. But on the emotional side, I don't really care. I just want the bike. It's like I bought that AutoZam and <laughs> it, it was like, it was a 25 year old car that was discontinued 25 years ago. It was impossible to find parts because they don't make parts anymore. And the, the parts that you could get had to come from Japan. So shipping was expensive, there was customs, there was all this crazy stuff and it took forever to get parts and so, and and if you crash the car, you're kind of screwed. How do you just go to a dealership and order something that doesn't exist? You, you can't take the car to Mazda because it's a Suzuki engine. You can't take it to Suzuki because it's like, it's kind of not Suzuki either. I don't know. It's, it was such a weird thing. And I understand, you know, it's, it's hard to convince people that buying an AutoZam was a good idea. But, but, there was nothing else like it. The styling, the, the size of the car, like, the, the feeling that I got when I was driving the car. There's just nothing like it. And that's kind of how I felt with the Strike. The bike is so good, and there's no other electric motorcycle like it. To me, it fits perfectly right between Zero and Energica. Zero is still making commuter bikes, right? They're not really making sport bikes. The SRF is a lot faster than my bike, right? But it's it's also a lot heavier. And the ergonomics were really strange. Your foot pegs are really high, your seat's really low, the bars are really spread out. It's like, it's really far forward. And the tank is just insane. So, I don't know, it, like, the SRF fits a lot of people, but it doesn't fit me. And it also doesn't have DC fast charging. So for me, in New Zealand, it's kind of useless. And then on the other end of the spectrum, there's Energica with ridiculous amounts of power. And that company is also, like it's not as big as Zero. It doesn't have as many dealers, um, but they're growing. And 
I feel like that's a really responsible choice if you if you care about the company and the servicing and stuff because I mean they have a whole race team they have Moto E which is entirely Energicus and that says a lot like it's it's a huge deal that they have such a you know huge operation going on the problem though with Energica is that the bikes are so insanely heavy and they are making improvements the new ones are vastly better than the old ones they've done amazing things uh, trying to fix the weight of the bikes but they're still pretty heavy um, I mean they're 600 pounds so it's kind of it's kind of insane like I had Jen sit on the Ego and she couldn't even lift it up she couldn't straighten the bike up and that says a lot so like I said, no one else at the moment is making a bike like the Strike. So I feel like it's this really unique thing and it's necessary. We, we need something like the Strike. We need a lightweight electric sport bike. And so that's why I support what they're doing. It's not that I'm a lightning shill or something. Somebody actually called me that and it made me laugh. I guess that means I'm doing a good job with these videos. On a side note though, I know I'm comparing these bikes, I'm comparing different electric motorcycles with each other, but I don't want to make anybody choose one way to go over the other. You know, when Zero people started buying Energicas and posting about it, they got a lot of hate for it. They were called traitors. It's like they, they left Zero for the dark side. But you gotta realize that we're all on the dark side. This whole electric motorcycle thing is the dark side. We're all traders to gas, so we should be working together. This electric motorcycle community is too small, so we should be supporting each other. So all my goal is ride all of them, shoot videos on them, share my thoughts, and hopefully get more gas guys onto electric motorcycles. All right, I'm gonna have breakfast with this dude, and then I'm gonna talk about my lightning. Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, let me find a place to bike. Cool. All right, to be continued. 346 minutes later. All right, see you then. Cool, well that was fun. Just had a little meal with uh, Sergey from Russia. Super cool dude. He's touring all over New Zealand, doing hikes and stuff. Apparently it's really dangerous to hike in Russia because you have, uh, I thought like bears and stuff, but he was like wild boars. You gotta watch out for the boars and the moose. I had no idea there were moose in Russia. Anyway, <laughs> Sergey has a Zero dealership in Moscow, and so he wanted to talk about Zeros and Energicas, but mostly Lightning, because he saw my test ride video, and he's really interested, and so he asked about uh, the bike that I ordered. Well, I waited a while because I wanted to test ride the bike first, and now that I have, and I loved it, I guess it's time to buy a bike, right? Well, the issue is that I live in New Zealand and not California. And New Zealand just recently passed a law that requires ABS on all new bikes in 2020. And since the Strike doesn't have ABS, I need to find a loophole or some, some way of getting the bike in here without ABS. Otherwise, I'll have to wait. So right now, I'm kind of bummed that I don't live in California because I can honestly say that I would have a Strike already. So yeah, that's pretty much the update on my pre-order. Uh, they have bikes, they're delivering bikes. A lot of people are posting online about they've just taken delivery of their strikes. And that's really exciting. It's so cool to see all these people owning Lightnings. And I am very, very jealous. And hopefully I can figure out a way to get a bike over here soon. So I know I said I wasn't going to talk about the company, but I want to bring up a conversation I had with Richard. It's about communicating with the public. I feel like they're so busy just making the bikes. It's a lot of work with such a small team. It's a small operation at the moment because it seems like they're still ramping up the whole thing in China. I don't, you know, again, I don't really know the details about that. So um, at the moment, all the bikes are being made in California. So if you're looking for an American made motorcycle, there you go. But I talked to Richard about this whole, this whole idea of, you know, if you have a delay in supplies or if there's a problem, do you do you tell everybody the problems you know because then if you if you share all the information then people might think you don't really know what you're doing because there are setbacks or problems but if you don't if you don't share enough information or you do, you don't share anything at all then people don't think you exist they don't think you're actually making bikes and so there's this balance and you know it's it's really hard to find that balance and so that's kind of the struggle that Richard is facing right now. 
and that's also another reason why I wanted to shoot that video, the test ride video, to share, you know, to kind of help them and also to share what it's like to ride the bike because no one's shot a video on a strike yet. Let me just blast that in front of everybody. Uh, it's, uh, it's really hard to convey the weight of like the, the heaviness from just numbers. You know, you see, you see a number like 455 pounds and you think, uh, well, that's really heavy. That's like an R1 or something, right? But it felt like an R6 to me just because of how the weight was uh, distributed or, you know, how the battery was mounted, let's say, in the frame. Kind of like how Energica is around 600 pounds, but since they mounted the battery so low, then it doesn't feel like 600 pounds. It's still really heavy, but it doesn't feel as bad as it could, I think. So yeah, I really wanted to shoot a video and share it with you guys. I'm glad that the feedback so far has been pretty good people are just as excited as I am but there is that whole like part of it where people aren't sure about the company and I just wanted to explain my situation where I don't really care if the company is uh, is as huge as zero or as reliable or whatever because because of the bike the bike is so good and it's a bike that no one else is making right now and that's why I like it I also kind of like the whole like small company, you know, family business kind of boutique style bike because I like different things. I don't want a bike that everybody has. Then again, here I am in New Zealand with one of the only zeros. There's only like 15 zeros in the country. And in Wellington, there's barely any, there's like three. So I guess I'll always be unique in New Zealand. <laughs> anyway, that's my little, my little ride vlog video today. Uh, Hope you guys liked it. If you haven't seen the lightning videos, definitely go check them out because they're pretty fun. Alright, thanks again. See you guys later.